Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now I've been sent from MoMan their latest in helmet comms and that is the H2 Pro. Now previously on this channel I have reviewed their H2 system but what MoMan has done they've taken that system and improved it even more. For example it now has 5.1 Bluetooth connectivity that means that you will connect to the person you're talking to 10% faster so there's less lag as you're talking. Not just that it improves the noise cancellation by 20%. Could you imagine how good these were before with noise cancellation and now they're even better? Not just that, they've also added voice assist. So on the fly, as you're riding along, you can make that call. Say for instance, you're running late for work or you're gonna be late home for dinner or something's happening and you're stuck in traffic, you can now make that call without having to go through any of the hassle of trying to get onto your phone and trying to find the person and give them a ring. You can just do it on voice assist, but even better. A feature that I really love, now you can do music sharing. So you can listen to one track on your phone and you can share it with your pillion or your riding partner and you can have the tunes playing as you're going down the road. I really love that feature. Now, the other thing that I really, really like about what MoMan have done with this is that you can personalize the color. There is 12 color options. So for instance, if I wanted a little bit of red on my comms to match my Africa twin, I now can. And I love the point that you can personalize it for that reason. It's just awesome. So the thing of it is, it's not lost any of its old features. You've still got that 20 hours of continuous running time. That's gonna give you a good few days of riding without even having to charge and so much more but what we're going to do is we're going to unbox it we're going to install it and we're going to put it through the 11 out of 10 review so let's jump into it let's start with the great unboxing the packaging feels good quality and well printed on opening up the box you'll see your h2 pro communication unit i've decided to pick the color green because it matches my bike but you've got 12 colors to pick from it takes the standard type c charger all the buttons and the entire unit feel nice and premium in your hands if you dive deeper into the box, you'll find all the accessories that you need for installation, including this USB-C charging lead that's nice and long so you can plug it straight into the device. You have two different options of mounts. You've got a slide-on and you've got a stick-on mount. What's a great plus side to the stick-on mount is that it's actually Velcro, so you've got two pads you can stick on, take off, so it makes it easier for charging. Next, you'll find a set of Velcro pads. These are for the headphones and for the microphones, and you get two sets of these. Your wiring setup already comes with obviously the headphones and a boom mic. But if you're not interested in the boom mic, you've got a full face helmet, you also get the standard stick on mic. The user manual comes pocket size. It comes with all the instructions that you need for installation and setting up your device. And that's everything you'll find in the box. So let's move on to installation. So the first thing you need to do is remove all of the inner padding of your helmet. With that done, take your speaker Velcro pad, stick it into the ear position. Also repeat that on the other side, then take your microphone pad and stick that in the position where you want your microphone to be. Next, take your speakers. The one with the longer wire goes the furthest away from the side that you're going to attach your control unit. Once you've attached your speakers, you need to then take your microphone, and I'm not using the boom mic because I've got a full face helmet, and push that into the right position on the pads. Connect the wire and that's your wiring complete. Next, take your mount. I've decided on this occasion to go for the slide on mount. What's really easy because you just undo the Allen bolts, slide on the mount and then tighten the Allen bolts and it will stay perfectly into place. Next, take your HT Pro control unit, clip it into place, attach your wires. Once you've done this, it's now time to tidy up the wiring inside and put all of your padding back into your helmet. With that done, that is your installation complete. Now I'd always recommend before use, making sure you give your comms unit a full charge. Pairing the unit could not be easier. You just hold down the power button until they both turn on, hold them both down again for four seconds until it flashes blue and red. And then on one of the units, tap the power button and within seconds they will be paired and connected and you're good to go. 
that brings us now on to the real world road test and we are going to concentrate on the two big features when we're out on the road and of course that's the music sharing and the voice command but we'll go through some of the basics first now the connectivity of these i have lady head on the back and basically it's virtually seamless with the improvement with this extra 10% because just as we filled up the bike as I can hear her talking obviously not just through the comms but to like through the helmet as well it was straight away seamless but we'll go through what we usually do and just go through the national speed limit road test to make sure we can hear each other nice and clearly and of course we've got that extra cancellation as well so Abby can you hear me nice and clearly on the back yeah good i can hear you really nice and loud now i've not got a tinny sound at all it's got a nice normal bassy sound to it how am i sounding to you yeah it's really quick isn't it i've got to have super impressed now the noise cancellation at 20 percent better you are still getting that slight in helmet noise that you get from your pillion but i'm not hearing any of the exhaust coming through or that kind of double echo How's the sound quality for you in regards to the noise cancellation? Yeah, I can hear the normal helmet noises, but in regards to the voice, I can hear you clearly. Well, it's something that I've now sort of got to expect from the Moman brand. They make a really, well, literally what it says on the tin product that works really, really well. And this is all happening at the national speed limit at 60 miles an hour on a naked bike with full wind hitting us. Now, we've got four face helmets on, but some communication systems really struggle where this is just working absolutely flawlessly. That now brings me on to the range test. Now being all improved, we've got a thousand meters of range that is proper incredible. So let's give it a test as we always do and let's see how good these are. So right now you can hear me lady head, is that right? Perfectly, yeah. Right, so here we go. We're gonna set off down here and see how far that this gets. Again, knowing the Moman brand, it's going to be good because it's exactly what they do. But can you still hear me nice and clearly now? Yeah, it's fine. As we continue down the hill. Now, if you can imagine the gap, if you're riding with somebody as well, you've got that nice gap happening. So you're going, please don't disconnect as you see your fellow rider start going off into the distance. But we'll check again. Ladyhead, Abby, can you hear me now? Yes, hello. Fantastic, this is already good. Right, so we're already here at the bottom of the hill. So to give you an example of distance right now, Lady Head is right up by that tree up there, but she's waving <laughs> and we're gonna keep going. See how much further that we can get because that to me is an already impressive distance. There she is up there, she's gonna wave again. There we go. Right, we're gonna now go behind these trees. This is where we should, in theory, the distance is getting bigger. Can you still hear me now? Yep, I can hear you. And we're starting to break up. I can hear the breakup starting to happen. And we're just losing signal here. Now, if you can see, she's completely out of sight, quite far away. That's impressive. Like, wow, that's impressive. For sheer distance, Bluetooth comms. And the one thing I like about Bluetooth comms is as well, is it is literally that. It's Bluetooth to Bluetooth. It just literally shoots across and just does the job. It's been proven over years. This is the reason why we've had Bluetooth comms for such a long time. And it's just told me now, literally just now, that it's disconnected. Literally. <laughs> I mean, she's, I don't know, she's got to be maybe a mile away. Right, let's see what happens now when we get closer. Let's see if they're an auto reconnect or if it's a tap of a button once you get them back into sight. Is it reconnecting? Now it has. It's automatically reconnected. It just told me intercom reconnected. That means I don't have to worry about stopping, pressing a button or anything else. Lady Head, can you hear me nice and clearly? Yeah, I can hear you. I love this. I love the distance that she, how far away she is, because I can just imagine again, if you're with your riding buddy or your pillion, that you need to sort of jump off the bike and do something and go say into a petrol station. What we actually did earlier, we can still hear each other perfectly clearly. So she can still tell me exactly what chocolate bar or snack that she requires or drink from the shop. So that was impressive, seriously impressive. That's again, probably one of the furthest comms I've, I've used to, to date for the distance. Awesome. Okay, so now we're gonna do the music sharing feature. Now we've already worked out by connecting them that you're sharing the music, but the intercoms do stop. But you can listen to your music from one phone, from one, de one device to the other 
device that I just think is really really cool so this is obviously copyright free music that I use in my videos I say copyright I pay for the copyright for this music we're gonna press play and we're gonna see lady head bob her head and she'll talk to you to tell you she can hear it and I will tell you that I can hear it this is the plans here we go press play can you hear that oh it's good isn't it <laughs> That is really cool. That means that down the road, with this track playing, we could have like a bit of peace time from conversation and we could listen to a few tunes and a bit of music and we yeah. could just chill out together. Yeah. Um, but I really like that. And then, of course, to switch it off, all you've got to do is press the side button on the top and then suddenly it will disconnect from that and then we get our intercoms back again. So now we can have a conversation. Can you hear me nice and clearly? Yep. There it's we go. Back. Just yeah. just like that. So easy to use. I like the point we can go. Should we have a little bit of music to play for? Yeah. While we're having sort of our little road trip and then actually we need to speak to somebody. So you just press the side of it once and then you're off. And then if you hold the side of this, it will then reconnect and we can listen to some music again. How easy and cool is that? Okay, so now we're going to try out the voice commands, what's really cool. So Ladyhead's gone down there. Now say for instance I need to get hold of her, she took her helmet off and I need to give her a call. I can simply now go, hey Siri, call Abby. And then literally it's now giving her a call. So now I'm ringing her, so she should pick this up in a second. And we can try out how it sounds with the quality as well. Hello. So she can hear me, I can hear her, and I've got to say, she's crystal clear as well on the phone. What's really awesome, so now I can turn around and say to her, I'm just going to turn around on the bike and pick you up. Are you ready to go? And she has confirmed that. And that's awesome, because that's voice control. As you're riding along, as long as, you're, as long as your phone's set up to take voice control, you can literally say, hey Siri, and then you can tell it what you want it to do. What's well, absolutely awesome. Well, I've got to say, what I really like about MoMan as a brand, and especially these H2 Pro comms is, it just does what it says on the tin. It just works. And not just that, with these brand new features that they've added to the new Pro version, being able to share that music, imagine just riding down the road going, we've sort of finished having that conversation, now it's time to listen to some tunes, let's whack some tunes on and have a little boogie as you're going down the road. It's so cool. And knowing that you can make that call cool on the fly just by voice commands has really impressed me. But even more so, I love that personalised colour. I love being able to pick which colour I want to match my bike. They just look so awesome. Now, the thing of it is, what really shocks me is, is that you can get one of these as a single unit from $49.99. I mean, less than 50 quid for all of that. I'm so impressed. So if you want to pick yourself up a Noman H2 Pro intercom system, it's super easy. Just down in the description of this video is the link that you need to get there to buy your own. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, do so as well. And I will see you in the next bonkers helmet head adventure. Bye bye for now. Oh, <laughs>